four Might Singer of Ages, four Acolyte of Shoku, uh, Crackling Clash, Fearless Fray, Runier Hierophants are gemmed with Sky Garden Steadfast, and when this attacks, you gain a resource. Four Crocs and four Heart of the Wrathwood. Then in the reserves, Aspect of the Squirrel, Scorn of Oberon, Balthazar, four Turbulence, and a single Double Trouble. Uh, apparently Primal Essence is is too good. I mean, I, you can get away with it in a mono deck because it's easy enough to hit your thresholds. Um, you get the re you get rewarded, and, and it makes the uh, you know all that resource generation is to make the Hearts of the Wrathwood better. Since we've seen absolutely nothing of what that deck is trying to do, I'm just going to leave the deck alone. Alright, this might be a, a risk, but I'm going to... Keep it and hope that uh, an acolyte actually sticks. Uh, scorn to counter decrees. That could be an option. Alright, here's a sacred stance. So, yeah, the scorns might need to come in because it looks like there's going to be other constants in play. So here comes Acolyte. Now let's see if Ashoku lives again. Nope, it's brought to justice immediately. That's rough because that's the primary method of ramp for this deck. Takes a wild. Plays a Droka. So this is going to be some kind of, and plays a Gerlaki. Oof, that gets big fast. So that's a Conscript Brew. And Crocosaur is online next turn, but this is a little embarrassing to be at turn 5 and have only played one card. Rooney or Rabbit. Okay, so we eat the five. And now Crocosaur can can hit those two and survive. Or actually probably yeah, the the Rooney has to die, so Stomp, stomp, growl. And eat those two. Bah! Alright, so it's still gonna die, I guess, but... That little Droka outcast that could. Seven four Lurker. Script. Well, I suppose Josephina can slap this, so we're gonna 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're just dead. Charge power into death.
Okay, so now we know that the, the scorns need to come in. Uh, destroy up to one target artifact, destroy up to one target uh, constant, refer to up to one target. So we're gonna get, I think, get rid of the fearless phrase, put in the score in the roll bronze. Because uh, the crackling clash have the same battle effect, but they're cheaper and they get us a charge, which can be useful for the crush. And then I think the lullabies are still strong to revert all of that stuff that is conscripted and powerful and swinging in. Alright, so we have uh, Acolyte on turn 2, Clobberdon on turn 3. How much does it cost to make a Dreadling? Three. Yeah, we'll go ahead and summon a Dreadling. Swing in with that Dreadling. And then uh, clobber it on. Labradon is martyred. And there is a Runier Hierophant. Uh, it's not worth to play Croc right now. Because Croc can't eat things. here. And yeah, this is gem with okay, when it attacks, permanent get a permanent resource and press plus one and crush. Uh, accolade of Shoku's charge powered, so that's gonna connect. Gets them up to five resources. Grandfather's totem comes down. Can you conscript immediately? You cannot. So we can crocosaur to get rid of both of those, especially the the uh, totem before it gets uh, spell shield. to activate this power? Yes. Uh, let's get rid of both of those. No! Ah! Oh, no. no. Does that... Yep, that protects it. Uh, that's so annoying. I was able to kill the rabbit, but since I was shielded, I still get to keep the crocosaur.
Okay, no swing in. Summon Dreadling. Could have, uh, yeah, by picking Spell Shield before you picked your targets. Alright, so we're gonna make that a 9 10. Swing it with the two big stompies. Trial of Totems conscripts a thing. Oh, for the love of God, all the conscription. And that is almost enough to... Yep, so just laugh at my pitiful attempt to deal you damage. Keep gaining health. That's the other nasty thing about conscript is using conscription basically as a combat trick to pump things. Gets a Wakuna crow feather. rough. Can't target that. The Hearts of the Wrath would come in as a 6-6. Six, six. Seven, 7 with the Martyr. So we're swinging in with Croc? I don't think so. <coughs> and uh, when Heart of the Wrath would die, summon a seed pod for each point of defense it has. So that'd be seven seed pods right now. Uh, if we get to live long enough for them to become something, then I think in three turns they become other plants. script engines. That's seven, five, crush. All right, no swings. And makes a blessed scout. Okay, so we're heard of the Rathwoods 88 now. Can't target that. Is it worth fearless fraying something off that board? I think I hold it for now and just get another Heart of the Wrathwood out. a sacred stance. Although I think time might be in the favor of that deck. Okay, so... 
presence of Grandfather's Totem actually makes it a bad idea to summon Dreadlings here because those are not gonna get through that. It can block one and easily comfortably take gain six life. Um, we could charge power one of the Hearts of the Wrathwood to make it a 12-12 uh, crush. And then Fearless Fray with the Fearless Fray with it to take out a troop. Although that still counts as a hit, I guess that is really kind of counterintuitive to use it that way. See if you see if you want to take 12 or how you want to block this. And it's 12 seed pods if it's killed. throw seven points of damage in front of it. Alright, then I think I am going to Fearless Fray to get that off of there before it can get the power to come back. I should be... What am I thinking? Post-combat, I should have made some dreadlings to make the Runir Hierophant bigger. Oh, come on. Briar Harvester created Briar Legion for each of your troops that died this turn? Really? Really, that's the hit? That's, that's three Briar Legions. Play them all. They're all six sixes. So I just let you up. I just let you trade up for three six sixes. Feels bad. All right. So might as well just play the shard. Do I swing in with a 10-10 and see if you want to give me 10 seed pods? Because you kind of have incentive to not. Or to just black with one thing. Let's... Swing with one. Alright, so that works as a block. Zanya dies, and now I'm gonna start doing what I should have been doing for a while now, which is post combat cranking out some dreadlings to make the Hierophant a bigger deal. Eager lackey. And it's flying? Thanks to the Wakuna Crow Feather, I think. Okay. 
Okay, so that's four in the air. That's ten. Right now, that could theoretically um, match one of them. Okay, end the turn. All right, crackling clash. We battle the eager lackey because we don't have. Oh, we do have a sky guard. Derp. Um, six, six, seven, 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 eight. Okay, we're gonna battle the Droka outcast. Gain a charge. Skip and attack this turn. Make some dreadlings to pump up Hierophant. And end the turn. Alright, now the Briar Legions are coming down. It might be wrong to swing into that, but yeah, because now, yep, because now that blocks gets 12 health, lives. Shit. Might sing of ages will come out. Close combat will make three dreadlings. Just to keep making that a little bit more ridiculous and end the turn. Powered 8 6. And there's the other Briar Legion. Alright, now I just want to live long enough for these seed pods to go off. Ooh, Lullaby. Can revert everything on the swing in. Lullaby is amazing to have on hand right now. It's like, yeah, okay, you go ahead, you swing, you do your conscript thing, you swing in. The problem is going to be now punching through it. And in two more turns, we've got on a, we've got all the seed pods in the world. Alright, 
so now hard decisions have to be made on both sides, alright, so that's gonna stop the, uh... <laughs> it would have been nice to draw more than one piece of removal this game, lol. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. So you can make this a thirty-two, thirty-two crush. Is it worth making that a thirty-two, thirty-two crush? If everything blocks it, nine, eighteen, twenty-seven. Yeah, I don't think we do that yet because we lose our only. I want all I want all of the um Okay, decree of vanishing. Does that get rid of the uh Runier? It does. So I wanna see what we get for plants. Alright, we're not gonna lullaby for over that right now. Freak of nature, at the start of your turn, a random opposing troop gets minus one, minus one. At the start of your turn, if then the script, it gets plus one, plus one. So we have two freaks of nature, two wrath with larches, a rose kitten, two rose kittens, a thorn pup. Uh, and we have a... Wait, did one of them turn into a heart of the wrathwood? We have two hearts of the wrathwood again. Uh, one of them's a chlorosaur. We go swing, swing. Um, swing. Yeah, need sky guard, which is not there. Once per turn, all thorn pups. So basically, if you're under twelve. Get out. I'd hate the lullaby for just one troop. Might have to do it though. Just to protect some health. Yeah, let's not. Uh... Let's not accept a two turn clock. Another heart of the wrath would eight, nine, ten. This kid, that could be an eleven. <laughs> um, sixteen would be a thirteen. Yeah, funny enough, a double block will kill it. 16 and crush. Oh, the hearts of Wrathwood. Another 
another sacred stance. Swing with two hearts and leave the rest back. The math on this game is brutal. On this brutal is brutal. It's just a stall fest. And then accolade of Shoku. Chucks a coin. Chucks a coin. Plays a shard. Now one, two, three, four. Just concedes. <laughs> I think that was just like the math was too much pain more than anything. Um, yeah, that's not how I expected that uh, things to go the first match. I think one more constructed match and then I want to do a draft again. This is fine. <laughs> Gotta crack open all the boosters while it's uh, 666. Scapegoat AA. Rut row. Rob Tangle. Thanks for the auto host if you happen to be around and note this. I appreciate it. Another goat. Well, we'll block that one. Play the Rooney or Hierophant and just pass. Okay, so the goats are going to get blocked and go back up into the hand for now. And at least one of them gets replayed. They both get replayed. Alright, so that puts us to five. So we're gonna stomp, stomp, growl, and eat some goat. It's like Jurassic Park! Crocosaur doesn't want to be fed, it wants to hunt! This feels good right now. Alright, Heart of Embers is annoying, but we haven't meet we have immediate answers for it. Uh let's here, let's go. Runier Hierophant number two. 
shard. Swing, swing. And uh, I'm going to crackling clash that before you can think to start throwing embers around. Oh, that felt good. Uh, I don't think I make any changes. I think we leave this beautiful monster exactly as it is. So compared to the Grindathon match that that last one was, that match went quickly. Or that route, that game went quickly. Crocosaur says, Goat's taste delicious. I'm a little hesitant to keep this because there's only two shards in it, but there are some cheaper drops. And there's a lullaby here to... Um, Put a crimp in a scapegoat aggro. <coughs> Excuse me if it starts look looking like it's getting a little bit out of hand. Um. Wow, well, that's my first turn. Greetings, Gibblemung. Yes, on St. Patrick's Day, I have a, I have an annual tradition of playing uh, wild decks and doing fun shenanigans with wild. Early, early on, we had a very heavily wild draft that uh, ended up going one and two, so couldn't cash out. But now we're in the uh, the ladder with a standard deck that is uh, mono wild. And I think I'm going to go Sh Shoku here first, just to block uh, the goat and maybe have a little bit better back end. I tried to, the, the draft I wound up in, having to be Saf Diamond, yep. Sometimes you got to go with what you're given. We, we allowed a lot of... Um, we allowed a lot of good conscript cards to pass that I would have taken if I was actually trying to try hard and not uh, so narrow-mindedly hammering into a specific shard. Alright, so block the goat and accept one damage. This deck's actually pretty fun. Fire in the hole, though, is not. So that just says goodbye to Acolyte of Shoku. And Goat's back. Alright, so order of operations is important here. Might Singer of Ages. Because that allowed us to fish for uh, the croc. Alright, that's two pints of beer, for the record. <sighs> Only wild card was Songsmith. Songsmith's awesome, but not, uh, not... Yeah, definitely not enough on its own. <laughs> needs, uh, needs some friends. Picked up from the ashes, though. 
Is that the um, Diamond Blood Legendary? That that's like a board wipe. I don't have one, so I'm not, I can't remember what it does. But I think if I'm recalling that card correctly, that's a pretty awesome pull. All right, we're gonna block that. Nice. Okay, so let's see if we get a hit again. We do get a hit again. We pull another Might Singer of Ages. And I think in the name of all that is holy, we're going to do just play that. And I could swing here, but not going to. Need to find a couple more shards. Uh, parental combat damage. All right, scars of war. Just uh, yeah, I can't do anything. A lullaby doesn't stop that. Damn. Two blood, two diamond. Destroy all troops. Put a single troop from opposing crypt into play under your control. Nice. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and lullaby here to make the goat less good. That saves us a lot of health. Now if we draw a shard, we, which we get off the top, Thank you. We can croc and we'll take out the goat and one of the other guys. Yeah, that's a board sweeper with it that's a board sweeper with benefits. You wipe them all out and then you get one thing back. I'm enjoying this mono wild deck. I threw this together for lols because wild is wild and ruby are historically my two favorite shards. Um, I didn't build this to be competitive or like own everybody, but this is uh, going going fairly good. I really can't complain. So we are going to go ahead and charge power here, I think. Press our advantage. Go ahead and block that if you want. You'll still take five. Gibblemung, thank you for the follow. Well, this is pretty. What song? Uh, the answer is I don't know, but if you give me a second, I will find the answer for you. I am on YouTube right now, and I just pulled up Epic Celtic Music Mix. Um, I am at 41 minutes into the video. So this is... This is the name of the track. Actually, I'm wrong. Wait, 4148. That's not the song. That's the next track. It's... This is the track. The first one is what's coming up next. But yeah, it being uh, St. Patrick's Day, I just wanted to get some uh, Irish theme music up in here. So this is Moon Song, which I linked the first time. All right, there's nobody in the draft gauntlet right now, so I guess that means we play St. Patrick's Day for another match and see how the gauntlet queue looks when we come back. 
So Mono Wild Deck St. Patrick's Day is 2 0. Handily defeated uh, Escape Goat Aggro. It was a grind of a match versus Sapphire Diamond, Cons or, uh, Diamond Wild Conscripts. But it's, it, it's working. And right, now we get to test it against Venom. Yeah, we'll keep this. Happy St. Patrick's Day rolling mono wild for holes. Yes, I made a turn three flyer. Throw down an accolade of Shoku. In the Gauntlet Cube, would have your deck already. Yep, so then you wouldn't be waiting to draft. That's what we'll do. We'll play a match, check the draft gauntlet, play a match, check. Nosk Web Guard, sure. Uh, Might Singer, Shard to see if we can pull a troop. No hit that time. Accolade of Shoku. And we pass. So a couple of some eggs are going in the deck. And the conscripted thing is a Chimera Guard Fallen, so that would become a 4-2 on swing, which is kind of annoying. I'm going to make a bold... well, I don't know. I'm one threshold away from this being bigger. I, I don't want to risk it that they that there is a trade there. Uh, so let's play Heart of the Wrathwood, which could be a mistake when it's in strangle range. Actually, that could be a really bad, big mistake if it gets strangled here, because then I don't think it makes any seed pods. Okay, Valfang Aramite, so no strangle. Possible swing here for four. I think the play next turn might be to just uh, Crackling Crash, Heart of the Wrathwood versus that to get that out of here. Gain a charge. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna crackling clash that. And then I don't think charge power on that's worth it right now, so we will go ahead and pass. So that's a Flying Dead Eye Slicer. Psychic Torment. This is not the uh, not the Venom build. I, w I'm fam I think this looks like a budget Venom build. This isn't uh, so far the exact brand I was expecting. Okay, no hit from the Might Singer of Ages. Um... I'm going to charge power here with the Heart of the Wrathwood, and then I'm going to swing with this one. And 
and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, play out another Heart of the Wrathwood. Now that they're safely out of range of a single strangle, okay, there's some. As possible that, uh, okay, Azure Fang Decree. We lost two clack. Oh, wait, no, I think we already had one of those in there. We lost a couple clobberdons and some shards. Lost a primal essence. Okay, it does swing in with a 2 2. And we lose a Fearless Fray and a Might Singer. Uh, worth noting, all four Crocs are still in the deck. There is a third Heart of Z Wrath Wood. So we're gonna go ahead and swing with these three. That's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 damage. And then I'm going to go ahead and play a third Heart of the Wrathwood and just really dial up the pressure. Like, answer or die. Lost two shards. Perfectly acceptable. Drew another one. Okay, just opponent just concedes because that one was pretty inevitable. Uh, Balthasar, we do not want in if our opponent's making eggs. Turbulence, eh, fringe case. Um, I think the deck's fine as it is. I mean, maybe. Aspect of the Squirrel could come in in place of, um... Actually, you know what? The Fearless Frays are going to come out. And the Aspects of the Squirrel are going to come in. Because if we're losing some troops into our crypt, it makes the, uh... Aspect of the Squirrel easier to chain off. And then, um... What's in the, the Runier Hierophants? They have uh, Skyguard and Steadfast and Resource Gain. So these are going to have... Uh, everything gets plus 3, plus 3. Basically gets plus 4, plus 3, and Crush. As a quick action. And then we can just crush right over the top of spiders. Ew, 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 ew. Five shards, aspect of the squirrel lullaby. This is infinitely better. I think the, the order here is Might Singer 2, Runier Hierophant 3, then another Might Singer. I was getting lots of Might Singers back in the Herefall area. I turned a nice profit selling some of those. Uh, I wish I could have the same luck with Brides. Alright. Out comes Might Singer. Let me see here. When this becomes blocked, put the top card of each opposing champion's deck into your hand for each troop blocking this, and they lose their thresholds. That is inconvenient. And so, if that wants to swing, we're just going to let it. Uh, 
immediate spiderling egg. Immediate spiderling egg. Ugh, Psychic Torment, and Zentoth's Malice. Alright, we're just gonna make, we're gonna go ahead and make that trade as much as I don't really want to. Lost a Heart of the Wrathwood. Which wasn't super playable right now anyway, if we're not being honest with ourselves. Alright, I think Runier here. And I'm gonna go ahead and play the shard just to keep have charge power active and keep things moving. Might have been worth bringing in the uh, Oberons, the Scorn of Oberon, now that I see those both together. Because you're trying to mill me out. But here's where, um, here's where the bringing in the uh, aspects of the squirrel was good, because we can scrounge that crap out of there and, and get value out of our lost cards. Oh, I think I, I misplayed. I should have played the Might Singer before that shard. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and Might Singer now. This is quick. One, two, three, four, could kill one of them. So we're going to charge power this one. And then possibly squirrel this one. Yeah, squirrel that one because that one will get on game crush. I'm going to use Crackling Clash to kill the Vilefang Aramite to stop all that life gain shenanigans. And we got another aspect of the squirrel with the same gem. Can we scrounge again? Uh, we can't. We only had three troops. We have one troop in the crypt. Okay, now we have one, two. Now we can scrounge again. Aspect of the Squirrel was an MVP ad. Aspect of the Squirrel was hilariously MVP. Swing all. Eight. Yeah, let's swing all. That's eight. Yep. Oh, we aspect of the squirrel. Pew, pew, pew. 
going to give that crush, and that's lethal. And St. Patrick's Day is 3-0. and I'm going to have to post that deck list on Twitter. Oh, 